Five seconds left. Ferris has the ball. Three, two, one. Oh, and he scores! Today's video is made possible by Audible.com. Audible.com has over 150,000 downloadable titles across all different types of genres. For your free book, head over to Audible.com forward slash tomorrow. Hey tech fans, welcome back to Tech of Tomorrow, where hey, we knew the trash can jokes were coming, so we made one for you, and nope, this is not R2-D2 here back behind me. This is the late 2013 Mac Pro. You guys all called it the trash can Mac, and I've got it right here behind me. Now, this thing is incredibly, incredibly small. 9.9 .9 inches tall, 6.6 .6 inches in circumference, and only 11 pounds in weight. Now, this thing comes with a bunch of different configurations. You can start out with quad cores, six cores, all the way up to eight cores, all the way to 12 cores. This thing is just insane. The one that we got is a $4,000 model. Now, this model comes with the six core, 3.5 gigahertz CPU that has turbo boost up to 3.9 gigahertz. 16 gigabytes of 1866 memory. This is the ECC type. And it also comes with 256 gigabytes of a built-on PCI SSD. Now, the big thing about this, though, is the expandability. Now, you guys all know that the PCI DisplayPort is all configured in that Thunderbolt technology. You can hook up four, that's right, four 4K monitors and six different Thunderbolt devices in a daisy chain. That's the reason why all the storage and everything is not inside this computer. This computer is made to use that technology, which means you could hook up, you know, as many different things as you want all through a daisy chain. You can set up a huge RAID system like the type that Pegasus uses. You can hook up monitors, just all kinds of things through this technology. Now, I know a lot of people are gonna talk a bunch of crap and say, oh, they're crappy, 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 but this is actually one of the very first Macs that's ever come out that is totally upgradable. You can change out the memory, you can change out the SSD, and you can even change out the CPU. That's right, the CPU. When have you ever seen a Mac before that you could change the CPU at? Just not happening. So you can tell that the people over at Apple are really trying to get your attention by saying, hey, we have this machine, Already in itself, it does a lot of kick-ass stuff, but if you want to expand it, you can go even further. Now, I know the people out there who hate Mac are going to go, oh man, screw that thing, 4,000 bucks. <laughs> but hey, there's a market for this. Already people have bought a bunch of these. They were sold out almost instantly. I don't even think there's any more coming into stock, I think until like February of this year. So, I mean, those people who were able to get their hands on it were very lucky, and I was able to get my hands on one too. And it's pretty cool. Right here, you got a little sliding thing, and you can actually slide the entire top off. Now, I want you guys to think clearly. Superhero, X-Men, who am I? Come on, man. This thing looks almost exactly like Magneto's helmet. Didn't even think about that till right now, so, you know. All right, I got too fat of a head, it won't fit me. But hey, maybe some skinny fella, you can stick this on your head, and you can have the Magneto look. So we'll get that out of the way. Actually, very well made. I gotta say, though, even jokingly, it actually feels, though, like trash can panel. I'm just saying, it really does. That's kind of funny, but it's also very unique. Now, here's the unit itself. This thing has two D500 video cards in it. These are the Fire Pro cards that are made by AMD. These things are totally geared towards doing high-end stuff. Each one has three gigabytes of RAM, 384-bit memory bus. This thing's built to kick ass. Now, check it out. I'm not gonna totally disassemble the machine for you guys today. This is pretty much just the first lick, but I want you guys to see everything. Here is the memory. Very, very easily accessible. Very easy to change out. You guys can see that, very simple. All the way around the unit, it's geared to be ergonomic, geared to be small, and geared to be upgradable. Now, you guys can see, I want the Tamron to shoot back over here. Look at this computer back here behind me. This is my Falcon Northwest gaming machine, okay? Now, look at this thing next to my Falcon Northwest gaming machine, okay? Now, I know a lot of people just wanna say, hey, f Apple, but I gotta say this, man, I'm really not there with this. I know it's pricey and right now I can't afford it. I look at it and I, man, I'm a little bit jealous because I don't have the cash for that right now. But if I had the cash, I would get one because it's very interesting and it's very, very small. And another thing is it actually runs cool. I'm not even shitting you. It doesn't get all super duper hot. It's not overheating. It's not like you turn it on, you're like, oh my God, this thing's hot. Apple really did a really nice job in their design of this. 
You guys can see all the connectivity and the power right there on that back panel. On the bottom, just your standard stuff thing, says the Mac Pro. And I'll be bringing you guys some benchmarks and some other stuff of this as we go along. But I thought for some people out there, you might just want to see this because I know that, that not many of them have come out. Some tech channels out there have these already and they've been showing them off. I was lucky to be able to borrow one from my friends at TLD. Now, before I bounce out of here, I just want to give a special shout out and thanks to audible.com for helping us bring this video to you guys. You guys, if you guys pay attention to the channel, before I had downloaded this book called Ender's Game. And when I was in Vegas, I got time to actually finish this thing. And I will say, the movie was actually pretty close to the book. There were some things that were missing, but I was actually surprised because I heard the book, watched the movie, and I was like, you know, there's not really that much of a difference, you know? When I watched Hunger Games, I read the book, I was like, damn, son, they left a lot of stuff out. But in Ender's Game, it stuck pretty much. And I thought the movie was actually pretty decent. So if you guys out there, a person who travels around a lot, you don't have time to like read a book, but you still like to get in that information, check out audible.com. Because right now, man, you get a free book. No charge whatsoever. Audible.com forward slash tomorrow. You guys can get a book absolutely free. Try it out. Maybe you'll like it. I know I do. I'm Miller Kim. Before you guys leave all the hate comments down below this machine, I want you to take one thing into consideration in your brain. This is a totally workstation level computer. This isn't some i7-4770K gaming machine with some standard 680-780 video card in it. Not that at all. Like I said before, man, two D500s in this thing, this thing's gonna be an editing monster. So before you go crazy, think about these things because if you're a person who uses their computer to make money, the better your computer, the more your time translates into dollars. Thanks for watching Tech of Tomorrow. We'll see you guys back here for more Mac Pro action real soon.